than I've done and I've screamed at God at the top of my lungs because that's how much I believe in him. Amen. That's how personal I feel like my relationship is. If I can't be myself with the Father, then I'm going to stop preaching this gospel. I've got a question and I want an answer. Comment in the comment section below or whatever. When is it okay for us as children of God to disobey the laws of the land? Now, we know what Scripture says. It says to obey the laws of the land. Be respectful, whatever. But we also know that there were several that did not obey the laws of the land in their time and in that land. They were told, in Daniel, the three Hebrew boys were told to bow and worship a golden image. And if they didn't do it, which they didn't, they'd be thrown into a fire, which they did. We know the rest of the story. Daniel, in the same book, was told to not pray at a certain at any time of the day in front of the window. He did. He was then thrown into a lion's den. We know the rest of the story. He disobeyed the laws of the land. The three Hebrew boys disobeyed the laws of the land. When is it okay for the congregation of the church to disobey the laws of the land? When they are fighting against the church of God. Listen to this. Hold fast the faith. Hebrews chapter 10 I'm going to read chapter 10, verses 23 through 24. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to do good works. So be there in love and good works for your brothers and your sisters in Christ. Not forsaking, listen to this please and listen to it carefully, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exalting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. I believe that day that he's speaking about is the very day that Jesus plans to return, to gather up his children. So friends, it's time for us to throw a party. Stop listening to what the government tells you. I know that sounds like I, I sound nuts. I get that, and I don't care. But stop listening to what they tell you is acceptable and start listening to what the Word of God says is acceptable. God is telling us to not forsake the assembling of the gathering of God's people. He says, and, 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 and even here it says, as the manner of some is, but exalting one another, and so much the more. So don't just do it on Sunday, but gather together every day of the week is what he's saying here. As ye see the day approaching. God, that excites me. I believe in all my heart, friends. Listen to me and listen to me carefully. I believe in all my heart and all my spirit. We are soon to see the returning of Jesus Christ. I believe that according to Matthew. And I would love to share that with you if God ever gives me the opportunity to do so. But here it's telling us to not listen to the laws of the land, but to listen to what God is saying. Now you take that up with God if you have a problem with it. But it says to hold fast the faith. What is the faith? Hebrews chapter 11 and 1. Let me read that to you. Now the faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of those things not yet seen. So God, I'm having faith that this sickness that's going around will not affect me because I trust in you and what you're telling me. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. So even way back in, in this time, in the Bible's time, you were healing in miraculous ways. He could do it today. If we'll hold fast to our faith and be patient and wait upon the Lord. Friends, I'm sorry. I got a little preachy. My pops came out in me today. And I, I can't apologize for that because this is the word of God. It's saying, do not forsake the assembling of ourselves together. As the manner of some is, but exalting one another. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. So friends, it's saying right here, it's time for us to party. Because Jesus is soon to return. And Satan is doing everything he can to keep us to shut up, to keep us down, and to keep us held down. But it's time for us as children of God to get our heads up out of the sand and to stand up straight and to walk with a purpose. To fight and to run towards the enemy with a purpose. How do we fight the enemy? By going against what they say to do. They say not to go to church. So what are we supposed to do as children of God? Not forsake the assembling of God and of his people to gather together. Think on that this day. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 23 through 25. 
Hold fast the faith. I love you, friends. God bless you. I know it's been a, uh, this was almost five minutes or more. And I apologize for dragging it out as long as I have. I'm more Baptist than I am Pentecost. So usually I get straight to the point. But I had to share it this way to help you to understand. I pray this has been a blessing to you. And I pray this will encourage you and give you the strength that you need. Remember, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 20, which is our mission statement, which basically states for us to have the full armor of God on at all times, no matter what we do, and have boldness so that we can make known the mysteries of the gospel. Always in God's will, never in his way. Always obeying his laws and not the laws of the land. I love you, friends. God bless you. Remember, to, to keep the faith, to hold fast, to stand strong and to wait on the Lord, to see what he does, not what man does, because man don't matter. Love you guys. We'll talk soon. All the colors of the rainbow, all the voices of the wind, every dream that reaches out, that reaches out to find the love began. Every word of every story, every star and every sky, every corner of creation lives to testify. For as long as I shall live, I will justify the love, I'll be a witness in the silence. Says the words are not enough. With every breath I take, we'll give thanks to God above. For as long as I shall live, I will testify to love. From the mountains to the valley, from the rivers to the sea, every hand that In the silence